Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today on a very special Sunday gear review with my friend Kara Connery from uh, Spirit Firearms Training mm -hmm. here in Northwest Arkansas. And Neil, our CMO, we wanna talk to you today about the PDPF, affectionately known as the SheDP. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So Carrie, you bought this particular gun basically as soon as it came out. I did. I got to shoot a friend of mine's and said, I need this gun to help uh, have another gun that I can run with my students, especially since I teach a lot of female students. Yeah. Yeah. And we jokingly call it the SheDP, but it, it's built kind of interesting. Now you're a VP9 carrier. I am. I am. This, this, this is my special perfect. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the two yeah. of them. Um, now a couple things. I'm going to come in close so you can kind of see it. And I'm sure you've seen these in other reviews. Um, the biggest thing here, it's a, it's a Walter PDP. But the F series, what they've done is they've shortened the length of pull. So from the back here to the trigger face is what we call our length of pull on a, a pistol. This guy's two and a half inches. I looked at my P30, it is three inches, a VP9 about two and five eighths inches. So this is about, uh, you know, well, I think two and three quarter to two and five eighths. So it's about a half inch shorter, which if you have small hands, I have these big mammoth paws, but if you have smaller hands, that's gonna make it a lot easier to get your hand around. Um, I also know it comes with different back straps, right? One so bigger. One, a bigger one if, but that seems weird to me. Like, okay, so why would you run this gun with a bigger back strap yeah. instead of running the standard PDP with the regular back strap if you're gonna run that? Um, I will say that it uh, comes with, you know, pretty good standard sights. Comes, uh, the other thing that I do like as we bring it up here is, is for those of us who are correct handed, it has the uh, slide stop lever on the right side of the gun as Jesus intended. <clears throat> and so that's a very good thing. You can run this gun from the correct side. Uh, is, uh, it does have an optics ready mount uh, plate on it as well. Now, um, of course, one of the big things that you're gonna ask about this gun is, is how's the trigger? Well, you, I want to know. So you've shot it a little bit, Neil. What do you yeah. think? Uh, the trigger isn't horrible um, out of the box. I, I don't think it's a VP9 trigger out of the box. No. Um, but it's not a bad trigger. It's not a Glock trigger out of the box either. It, it's, it's it's better than a standard it's, Glock it, trigger. It's got a, a it's got a definite wall and then a little bit of travel. Yeah. What is your thoughts on it on the trigger? Uh, the other the, the trigger is, I think is really good. Honestly, I would yeah. say it's probably one of the top five out of the box triggers mm -hmm. that I've. I mean, I don't have the experience with a lot of guns, but. That, that I have bought and, and have for my, my training gals. Not so. bad, I think it's a pretty darn good mm -hmm. one. Uh, something else I really like about it, what you can see here is you see the, the button mag release, which of course, it's not as good as the paddle, but they're not bringing that out on this one, um, but it's shrouded. So you can see there's a little protector on that, which while you're gripping the gun high, will kind of keep your hands from hitting that. It is as well a uh, reversible uh, button, which I like. Now, uh, I also like the kind of lip underneath here. I can get a full hand on this yep. gun and that's good. I want to show you on the trigger though, you know, again, we're, we're pointed at a berm here. Let's see if I can get to that, yeah. So, so when I have the trigger, so, so there is on, there is the wall, okay? So now I'm at the wall on the trigger. I add pressure, did you see that creep? There's just a little bit of creep and then it breaks. So let me show you again, okay? At the wall, there's that creep. So not bad, I mean, it breaks pretty clean. Resets nice. Little bit of creep. So so it's it's not, I wouldn't call it trigger creepy. No, it's not. It, it just, it's just that there's no. that little tiny movement. Tiny bit of creep on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what a VP9 is like just so you see the difference. Now John, you know they put a lighter spring in there too, so it's easier to rack. That's, yeah, we'll get there. Thing. We'll get there in a sec. I just wanna I wanna go through the trigger. So VP9, this is Kara's VP9, so it's standard trigger here. This isn't like Neil's Whamadine, you know, lazy wolf gun. Okay, so there is the wall adding and goes. So there just doesn't have the the creep. So which one's better? I don't know. I'd probably say the PDP probably breaks a little lighter. This one yeah, breaks with no creep. I think that little creep. bit of movement pulls up a little bit of the weight. So you are probably breaking lighter. It probably, than yeah. Like, like Kara mentioned as well, this, uh, uh, the gun, it, it, the, the uh, recoil spring is a little light. And so it, it uh, it cycles really well. Good front slide serrations if you want to use that. Rear slide serrations here if you want to, you know, go overhand, power stroke in those things. Um, 
let's go shoot it a little bit, shall we? All right, let's, uh, let's put our ears on. Neil, you want to do the uh, the honors? I get to shoot it first? Yeah, I mean, go ahead. I mean, it's Kara's gun, so. All right. That's got initial, uh, feels really good. I, I, that's not bad at all. Okay, so my initial reaction is it's a little more snappy than a full-size VP9. I mean, so it's good. I mean, it's a compact it, gun, it's right? A, it's, a, it's more compact, but it's not near as snappy as, say, a Hellcat or a 365 or something, that, those that are yeah. even smaller yet. Uh, that's a nice shooting gun. The trigger feels good when you're shooting at, at a little bit more speed as well. Uh, you know, it's got iron sights, so I would immediately get a dot on this thing, but the iron sights feel to me like they're about right on where, where I'm aiming. Um, I like I like this gun. I think I need to maybe get one of these for stuff to try. Ooh, that's interesting. We'll see. You want to shoot? Yeah, I might. I have the gun. You have the gun. I have the gun. All right, let's give it a go. Uh, again, as a lefty, right? I like that it has the ambi uh, slide stop and the reversible magazine release. Though I wouldn't use that too much. Let's just kind of get a feel for. I mean, the gun recoils predictably. Um, you know, I, I think the lighter recoil spring makes it snappier. I mean, it's going yeah. to, right? So you're always kind of balancing between that idea of, of lengthening the, the time of the slide movement and uh, ease of actually actuating it. But uh, the gun is super shootable. I think that out of the box, the, the trigger is perfectly usable. Um, you know, you get 15 rounds in the standard magazine, and that's not bad, man. I think, um, Kara, what'd you pay for this gun? I believe it was six fifty. Okay, six fifty. So, I mean, kind of, kind of, you know, the 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 higher end of the value market. Um, but I, I like the the texturing. I like that quite a bit. I think that the texture job on the gun is pretty good. Um, I think if you have small hands. I think this is a gun you got to consider. I yeah. think if, you're, if your hands are little, you got to think about this gun because of how short the pull is here, the length of pull. So, uh, Walter, good job. I think this is a good addition. One thing to talk about here that I, I do, um, I'll take the gun, my gun. Your gun? Okay, so uh, I did notice this playing with this in uh, some dry fire is that, uh, you know, typically with a, with a VP9, uh, you know, I just go to about there. So it's a really quick reset for the trigger. If you do that with this gun, it's not gonna reset the trigger. So the live trigger, I've pinned it. If I go back so far, like I would with a VP9, I have a dead trigger. Yeah. So really you've gotta work the whole slide uh, in your dry fire to get that thing to reset. Cause the reset's somewhere between there and there. I don't know where that is. I haven't played with it enough, but it's something to consider. Um, when we were at the girl with the gun, uh, there were some fo some ladies that were there. They, they got to test these things. And that was one of the comments that one of the ladies told me was, I don't even feel the reset. Well, that's what she was talking about. She was resetting it that far. So there is no reset to feel. I don't think that that means the gun's broken or anything's wrong. It's just that the reset's a little bit further back in there. So in your dry fire, you may notice that.